One of the things that crosses lipid bilayers is water. And osmosis is a very important component of the movement of things across membranes. And this U-shaped tube is a, an apparatus that we use in order to study osmosis. What this represents, the tube has, has a fluid in it. In the middle of the tube is a membrane. And what we can do is we can put on either side of the tube uh, solutions containing different amounts of salts or sugars or what have you, solutes. The water will tend to move from a region of low solute concentration to a region of high solute concentration. Why? Because the propensity, the, in order for water to cross this membrane, it's got to collide with the membrane. And water is going to collide at a higher rate on the side where there's more water than the side where there's less water. And water, if it's in solution, will have other things in that solution besides water. So those other things can be colliding rather than water. If those other things can't cross the membrane, that means that fewer things will be crossing from the region of high solute concentration to the region of low solute concentration. The end result is, is that water tends to move from regions of high water concentration to regions of low water concentration. And another way of saying that is regions of low solute concentration to regions of high solute concentration. So if you have distilled water, which has nothing in it but water, on the one hand, and a saturated salt concentration, a saturated salt solution on the other, uh, two sides of the membrane, the water is going to go from the distilled water side to the saturated salt solution side. It's just going to flow in that direction. Now, it's going to be full in both ways, but, but the high, most of the flow is going to be towards the high salt concentration. And if it's distilled water, the water is going to flow from the pure water side to the salty side until there's absolutely no more water on the pure water side. It's just going to keep doing it. But if you've got the water in one of these tubes, as the water flows from one side to another, it's going to push the water on this side up, quite literally, against gravity. And at some point, there's going to be so much water on this side that the pressure of the water from gravity on the membrane is going to push water in this direction as fast as it goes in the other direction. Again, we'll have a dynamic equilibrium. And in fact, the amount of pressure that is necessary to counteract the movement of water from one side to the other um, by osmosis is called osmotic pressure. <laughs>